In this plant power highlight, we are going to continue to talk about licorice and eczema treatment. In my previous video, maybe you've seen it, I ended the video talking about a wonderfully designed clinical trial where all the patients were given the usual steroid treatment for eczema and then divided into two groups. The active group used the sweet molecule glycerizin found in licorice and the placebo group with no plant power. What this trial concluded was that there was irrefutable evidence, thousands of years of Chinese herbal medicine have known all along that licorice does make significant improvements at treating eczema. This is great news for eczema sufferers who are looking for a plant-based complementary therapy to their eczema treatment. Unfortunately for me and my skincare interests, this study gave the patients oral capsules full of glycerizin, not topically. Still a score for plant power, but I wanted to know if licorice can help treat eczema topically. It turns out that there are plenty more studies where their topical application was provided. They're just not as well designed as the one I highlighted before. However, in one particularly interesting study, researchers found that in a head-to-head -head trial, which is like a competition, they gave one group the typical treatment of eczema, 1% hydrocortisone cream, and the other group 2% licorice root extract in a gel. What they found was that the licorice group had reduced swelling and itching at the same extent as the hydrocortisone group, and they healed their lesions faster. That's really cool news. What makes this potentially better than the study I described in my last video is that in this study, no steroids were used in the licorice group. In the previous study that I looked at, licorice was an add-on therapy to the steroids. So hooray for licorice. It turns out you don't need steroids to help you work your plant power. <laughs> so let's have a chat of how licorice is working in our skin. Researchers have found that when skin cells were treated with licorice root extract, the membranes of the cells became more permeable, meaning they were letting things in and out of the cells much easier. Along with this finding, also red blood cells came into contact with licorice molecules. They too had physical changes detected on the surface of their cellular membranes. In theory, when red blood cells are under the influence of licorice, they are more ready to deliver their oxygen and nutrients to nearby cells in distress. And if these nearby cells are more receptive to allowing in the nutrients, this could explain why the skin lesions are healing faster with the licorice group without the side effects of a suppressed immune system seen in steroid use. Licorice molecules are working with the body and not against the body of its natural system of healing. For example, Chronic licorice application does not reduce keratinocyte production in the skin like steroids does. Keratinocytes are the cells that bring bulk and thickness to the skin. So over time, if they're continually being suppressed, this will lead to thinning skin, which we know tears easily and leads to other problems. Additionally, over time, steroids reduce the amount of natural hyaluronic acid our skin makes, which is the main moisturizing ingredient in our skin. So less hyaluronic acid in turn causes dry skin and thus potentially perpetuating the eczema cycle all over again. Lastly, licorice does not downregulate the production of collagen type one and three in the dermis. This is important because the first stages of wound healing are to increase these two types of collagen, which literally sew together the opening of a skin lesion. Steroids slow this production and slow the rate of which a wound can heal, even without chronic use. Now I have to say, steroids are not always bad and they definitely have their place in medicine and eczema treatment. However, their chronic use is a big problem and doctors and dermatologists will admit that too. Will licorice solve all of your eczema problems? Probably not, but will it help? Most definitely. And should science and Western medicine give more credit to the plant power of licorice? Of course. All right, that's all for now. I will see you next time.